It's no secret that the world is filled with unusual and mysterious objects and beings. As humans, our curiosity has led us to discover more and more over time. The Middle East especially is filled with so much history that it's no wonder we continue to stumble upon new artifacts on a regular basis. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting discoveries. Al Nasla. Saudi Arabia is a beautiful country with a long standing history. Many travellers head there to explore and unearth ancient stories and discoveries. Al Nasla is no exception. It's located in the Tamer Oasis and is one of the most photographed petroglyphs in the area. Petroglyphs are ancient works of art, often left on rocks, and are found all throughout the globe. What makes this petroglyph different from the rest is its unique slip that divides the rocks perfectly with naturally flat faces. It doesn't simply look like the rock split in half, but instead it appears it's been sliced perfectly in half by a laser. There are also small, naturally made pedestals on the bottom of the boulders that hold them up, and no one's quite sure how long they'll stay standing. One of the most noticeable petroglyphs is that of a horse. No one can be sure what was being communicated, but it's always interesting when we recognise images dated well before our time. Another aspect that makes this rock formation unique is that it's smooth on one side and jagged on the other. It's not too surprising that the elements had worn down one side of the rock. This would smooth it out, but it still doesn't explain how the even split came to be, and how the rocks are supported by such small pedestals. It continues to confuse tourists, researchers, and archaeologists, who remain uncertain of how the rocks originated and what their future will look like. In order to understand the future of Al Nesla, we must look to the past. Some experts suggest that a tectonic shift from beneath the earth and under one side of the rock caused it to split in two. Other theories consist of theorising that the split of the rock is a fault line or erosion over time. Beside those theories, there's been speculation surrounding the possibility of a supernatural explanation. Conspiracy theorists have suggested aliens are responsible for cutting the rock in two with a laser. People have found it challenging to believe it could have occurred naturally due to the precise split, which in turn has made this explanation seem somewhat plausible. With that being said, there's no conclusive evidence as to how this rock formation came to be. That leaves us with so many possibilities, and the potential to unearth other reasons as to how this laser-like split happened. Do you believe it occurred naturally? Or would it have been impossible to split so evenly at a time with no technology or methods to cut the rock in half? We may be a while away from finding the answer, but for now we can enjoy the beauty and mystery it brings to Saudi Arabia. Archaeologists in Egypt unearthed dozens of unopened coffins buried more than 2,500 years ago. Next up is the very recent discovery of 27 coffins found in Egypt's Saqqara Pyramid. The news was confirmed in September 2020 by officials excited to spread the word. Saqqara is a World Heritage Site just outside of Cairo and has been an active burial ground for thousands of years. Thirteen of the coffins were found earlier in the month, approximately 11 metres underground, and another 14 were discovered in a nearby well just a few weeks later. The origins of the coffin are still unknown, as archaeologists continue to work on finding that information. While the discovery of over two dozen coffins is a tremendous find, it doesn't come as much of a shock. In fact, 30 ancient wooden coffins were found in 2019, as well as a range of mummified animals at Saqqara. These recent discoveries point to the possibility of many other coffins that have yet to be discovered in Egypt. This particular area was known as a burial ground, so it wasn't the discovery of coffins that caught archaeologists' attention. Experts were drawn as to how well preserved the coffins were. The sarcophagi have remained unopened for over 2,500 years, and is decorated with ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. Some still maintained vibrant colours despite being underground for such a long period of time. 
As each new discovery arises, we find ourselves learning more about the Egyptians' history and culture, which is enthralling to archaeologists and experts seeking answers. These revelations provide hope into those looking for more information, as we're slowly but surely revealing moments of the past we once knew nothing of. Archaeological discoveries have been the forefront of tourism for Egypt recently, and they've set out to conduct more excavations in order to attract more visitors. The violence and political turmoil have greatly affected tourism to Egypt. Despite using these findings as a way to draw more people to Egypt for tourism purposes, we're continually learning more about the past and what the lives of people from that time period were like. Whilst we still don't know the details regarding the preservation of these coffins over thousands of years, we're on the way to finding out. It's most definitely interesting to think about how we've evolved as humans and where technology has taken us. With that being said, it never hurts to look back at the past to learn new lessons, adopt new practices, and use that for making positive changes throughout the world. We may not have all the answers yet, but every little bit of information counts. A 120,000 year old footprint found in Saudi Arabia The last discovery we're going over today also took place this year. Hundreds of fossilised footprints have been found near an ancient lake bed in a desert in Saudi Arabia. They've been said to potentially indicate evidence of the earliest point of human movement in the area. Upon discovering many footprints in the area, researchers had to figure out who or what the footprints belonged to. Footprints from horses, camels and elephants were pinpointed first. This begged experts to question whether or not any footprints could be from humans. Although many animal footprints were first discovered, seven human footprints were also identified. Experts explain how footprints are a unique form of fossil evidence because they capture a moment in time that can't be found among any other forms of evidence. Even though these footprints haven't been 100% confirmed as a human, evidence of Neanderthals moving through the area suggests they must belong to humans. There's no other explanation that experts could think of, so they've confidently been identified as such. After investigating the footprints, archaeologists have stated that the footprints show human migration from Africa to Levant. Researchers believe the humans who have been stopping by for water for a place to drink and rest during a long trip after reaching dry conditions and becoming unsure as to whether they'd next be able to stop for water. Aside from the discovery of human and animal footprints, were many animal fossils that were found. The evidence in lake sediments point to the animals congregating around the diminishing water supply. What's also interesting about this discovery is that after being told that most non-African people who are alive today have ancestors that left the continent roughly 60,000 years ago, this discovery may prove otherwise. Some researchers believe that small groups of Homo sapiens left Africa thousands of years before the mass migrations to other parts of the world occurred. So what did this mean to the humans of today? We may have some more digging to do when it comes to our history and understanding where we came from and when the mass migration happened. Do you think they were human footprints and that our history will need to be rewritten? We'll have to wait it out as experts continue to analyse the footprints and form new conclusions. After taking a trip to the past through just recent discoveries, it's clear we've only just begun to learn about history as a species. Our ancient history dates back much further than we can imagine. There's always something new we can learn. It can be overwhelming to consider all the possibilities, but it's exciting to continually find new pieces to the puzzle. So what do you make of these fascinating discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.